Hi guys, I'm in Bali. Wow, well, I can't believe I'm saying that. It sounds so cool. We landed here and then I went to have a nap because I'd done an all-nighter with my flight. And then I actually ended up sleeping for 18 hours into the next day, which I didn't know was possible, but apparently it is. I definitely woke up very disoriented. We're off to the beach. Oh my god, this is so cool. It's this little walkway. Also, apparently there are monkeys here. Currently on a path, which is, go on Marcus. Off the beaten track. No, what did you say oh, before? The other one. Path left. Wait, I can't talk. <laughs> a path left. I can't talk, it's like a tongue twist. Path less, less trodden on. <laughs> we're at the restaurant. We had to chug our water. Because apparently we're not allowed to take it inside. So we're economical. My bad bro, my bad. <laughs> what? Were you just outside the bathroom like? No, I was just like sat I was just there just standing on my phone thinking like, what's she doing? Like we were in silver exchanging all the time. That's really funny. Dinner time. Calling the grab motorbike to go to dinner. Got ready really speedily. Marcus is in the same fit as earlier because he's utilizing that. Boy privilege! Joke, obviously girls like can also not get re ready. Don't cancel me, thank you. my decision to move here. Marcus, you know this is my first time getting um, it in a cup, like ever. Really? Yeah, besides when I was a child and my mum wouldn't let me get it in a... I wouldn't surprise me. I always get cut. I don't like food. I know. Oh my god. Look at my upper lip. I went to get my upper lips waxed because I'm a brown girl and I need to go every two weeks and this holiday is a month which means that I needed to get it done at some point on this holiday. Except, I don't know what she did. She like, got out tweezers at one point, which is like not normal. Like They don't ever do that. I was very confused. I was just kind of laying there listening to this serene music playing in the background as she plucked away 
but it's so irritated like it's so red but at least there's no hair some paddle and it was my first time doing it I've also like never really done racket sports before I found it quite difficult and I'm not that sporty kind of like I never want to do this again but if I want to get good at it then I have to do it again so I'm going to do it again let me just address this situation on my face basically I got my upper lips waxed yesterday bear in mind I've been getting my upper lips waxed since I was literally like 10 years old and never has this ever happened to me I think it's a chemical burn like it's not normal we went back to the salon I did get a refund but this is not worth the five pound refund it kind of burns as well it looks awful and like my upper lip wasn't even that hairy like I should have just not got it waxed we did sauna and an ice bath it was my first time doing an ice bath it was just like really really cold water it wasn't actual ice it was really difficult i have a lot of respect for footballers who do that in particular jude bellingham he is a brave brave man what's so funny Mark? why just jude bellingham um because he's my favorite it's got little flowers that is adorable and he like climbs through the window Watching it. Really? That's why you don't get the significance of the song. Marcus is getting his nails done for the first time. He also did just fall off of that chair back there. <laughs> I just came back from the toilet to find him on the floor, like <laughs> underneath the chair, <laughs> causing quite the ruckus. That's quite a monumental moment. It is a monumental moment. Hurt? <laughs> We are at the beach, also, chemical burn update, basically this bit was able to be peeled off, this bit is not fully ready to be peeled off. We are at this lovely beach club, it's called Potato Head. Marcus is currently writing a list of reasons why one should and shouldn't date me for TikTok. The view is so pretty, there's like an infinity pool down there. Yeah. Are you reading it for the vlog? Yeah. That noise is gonna be dropped apart. It is. Ah. That noise, that's a, that's a knock to. Ubud. I ordered a matcha and it's really awful and I fear that this is the type of matcha that makes people say matcha tastes like grass. Whenever I go on a holiday, I always take my own matcha with me and make it, which I did at my friend's <laughs> house. is laughing at me, which I did at my friend's house in Shanghai, but I'm a bit limited with resources here at the moment. So is what we're dealing with. Apparently on the drive here, on the way, there were monkeys and then when we got here, Marcus was like, did you see the monkeys? And I didn't see any monkeys. It's because I was trying to cue the perfect song to play whilst on the motorbike. <laughs> we're in the monkey forest and there are just monkeys running around everywhere. One just like stopped me in my tracks because it just ran in front of me.
ravioli to saffron butter because if I see saffron on the menu I'm like I have to get it. I love that this actually tastes like saffron because sometimes they say it up in saffron and then it doesn't actually taste like it and they just put like yellow food colouring to like trick you. Hi guys, I'm in Nusa Lembongan at the moment. It's basically this tiny little island off of mainland Bali so we had to get a boat here. In Bali there was a harbour but when we got here the boat just like docked up on the sand and we had to like walk through the water. Um, first stop today is also the laundry place because I need to give her these clothes which I forgot about slash was wearing yesterday. I'm really hoping that I can convey what I want to say to her because Marcus has been the one like communicating with everyone. He just like speaks to them and then I just kind of stand there. It's gonna be a chill one because tomorrow we've got a hectic day because we're going to this other like tiny island but we'll leave that for tomorrow. <laughs> tiny little beach um, as you can see it's the beach behind me and we were all the way up there found all these cool seashells which I took a photo of and then I found this really cool sea glass look at it it's got like a little pattern and like a bunch of the shells like have this exact pattern on the side and it's just like just cool shape and the green is like my favorite color I love my little sea glass good morning guys this is my last day in Nusa Lembongan. This morning I was meant to go snorkeling, which also entailed a 7.45 a.m. pickup from my accommodation, which anyone who knows me knows I'm not a morning person, even though I was in bed by like 8.30 last night, which is unheard of for me. However, this morning it was pouring down with rain, and so the snorkeling got cancelled. At this point, I've been traveling for like three weeks, and I've never like traveled for this long with like plans every single day so i had a little bit of a bed rot this morning i got this t-shirt in bali <clears throat> oh my god generally i don't know why my voice does this thing where it like low-key breaks and i sound like a 13 year old boy undergoing puberty who's having like voice cracks and i really hate it because i'm a girl and i'm like 20 years old in a month i got this t-shirt on my last day in bali from this little vintage thrift store and it was like two pound fifty so I was like, okay, I'll get it. And like, I was like, I can't tell if I like love it or hate it, but I think I kind of love it. I haven't actually worn a bathing suit because I just don't feel like going in the water. Like, I think I'm a little bit beached out, just like a tiny bit, but I want to sit and read my book, which I have read once on this trip. And this is a big fat book. And this book is taking up too much of my luggage weight for me to not read it more than once. But yes, this is my book. It's called 101 Essays That Will Change The Way You Think. I literally bought this when I was 15. Like, look at me go. Like when I was 15, I was reading this. I used to annotate as I used to read. And I used to read one chapter every single night. Um, Don't really know what happened to that because um, I'm 20 and I still haven't like finished the book. Also, yesterday I lost my sunglasses case because I made the lovely mistake of just having a tote bag with me. That just means things can just fall out of my bag. I need to get going, so <sighs> let's go to the beach. <laughs> Final day in Bali. Final day in Bali. I'm going to Bali. Oh my god, what is the Snapchat ad? Why don't we get some, oh, why don't we get some natural items? Oh my gosh, that is such a nice swimming pool. Why was I not aware? Okay, I just discovered that there's a swimming pool right there. I can't believe that my two weeks in Bali has already come to an end. I basically have my flight to Singapore this evening at like 9 p.m. It's like 10 a.m. So I kind of have a full day. I just packed up everything and then I'm gonna go find a breakfast spot before Pilates. I need to go grab some breakfast. I just go. Mm -hmm. 